Welcome to our FB page, the free reviewers managed by Leonalyn. At ang video ito ay upload din natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Let's read first the problem. 13 and 1 third ounces is what part of a pound, whereas 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. At ito yung mga choices. Pero bago ang lahat, ito pala ay... Galing sa isa sa ating FB groups, nakapost ito. At uh, itong si Donald Bayotaron, tandaan nyo yung name niya. Lagi siyang nagsasagot ng mga post niyo at yan yung isa sa ating mga sabihin na nating haligi sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. As in, laking tulong din niya sa mga members sa FB group na ito. At ito naman yung iba pa mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Naubalik tayo dito sa ating problem. Pariho namang mga pound, ay mga ounces yan. Pariho silang ounces. So, ang kabuuan ay 16. Tapos yung nandyan ay 13 and 1 third. So, therefore, 13 and 1 third over... Yung nasa ibaba ay yan yung, yung mga, yung nasa denominator natin, yan yung kabuan 16 ounces. Again, pwede na natin ipagsama kasi pariho namang dalawa na yan ay ounces. Ang tanong dito kasi, 13 and 1 third ounces, which is yan yung nasa numerator natin, is what part of a pound? Now, yung nasa baba naman, yan yung 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces. So, ngayon, ang gagawin lang naman natin ay simplify itong fraction na ito. Unang-una, gawin muna natin itong 13 and 1 third to improper fraction. Yung mixed fraction na yun, gawin natin improper fraction. 13 times 3 and that is 39 39 plus 1 that is 40 40 at kopyahin yung 3 na denominator all over yung mismong 16 now simplify natin yan since ito ang ibig sabihin yan ay division so we have 40 over 3 divided by 16. No division of fraction. Itong 40 over 3, kopyahin lang natin yan. Ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal ni 16. And by the way, lahat ng whole numbers, meron yung automatic na 1 na denominator. Ang reciprocal niyan ay 1 over 16. Na pwede na tayo mag-multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, para mas madali, ito na lang ang gagawin natin. Hanapan natin ng greatest common factor itong 40 at saka si 16. Ang greatest common factor dyan ay 8. So, 40 divided by 8 magiging 5 yan siya. Si 16 divided by 8 and that is 2. So, ito na lang ang i-multiply natin. 5 times 1, and that is 5. 3 times 2, and that is 6. So, yan na yung sagot. 5 over 6. Alam nyo ba na ang question na ito ay pariho lang sa pinakonvert tayo from ounces to pound? 13 and one third i use it natin si 13 so this is 13 and one third ounces i convert natin to pound so i multiply natin in such a way na itong ounces na ito ay ma-cancel out at yung pound na lang ang matitira so therefore yung i multiply natin ito to fraction na yung pound ay nasa numerator at yung denominator nandoon yung ounces. So, this is 16. Ang 16, ang equivalent niya sa pound ay 1. 
one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So, pwede na natin i-cancel itong ounces. Ang matitira na lang ay pound. So, therefore, this is 13 and one-third times one pound over 16. So, bali, ang sagot na natin dito ay pound. Now, multiplication of fractions. I-convert muna natin ito to improper fractions. So, this is 40 over 3. Nagawa na natin yan kanina. Kung paano natin yan i-convert from improper, uh, from mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, now, yung multiplication. 1 over 16. Kung i-multiply natin yan siya, this is equal to 40 over 16 times 3. And by the way, huwag na natin yan. Pariho lang din naman ang sagot. I-cancel out natin yan by finding the greatest common factor which is 8. At nagawa na natin yan kanina. So, balik lang tayo dito. Therefore, ang sagot ay 5 over 6. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kang naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.